Evening, everybody. How are we doing this fine evening? A beautiful day, hotter than hell here in West Virginia. You know, I've uh, been going on for about a year now. I've been kicked off Facebook, been kicked off YouTube, been kicked off of Twitter, all this social media shit. Over this COVID-19 shit. Well, now it's coming out. I think actually the truth may come out. Where it started from, that was out of China, in a lab over there. What they uh, call, I guess, a level four lab, which should have been handling infectious diseases like this from the start. But we're also gonna find out that Mr. Fauci, Mr. Obama, They'd actually visit this, this lab in Wuhan, China. And we actually paid them $3 million to come up with this virus. Now, it don't make no damn sense to me whatsoever why Dr. Fauci and Obama would want this COVID-19 virus even made. Why would anybody want to make it? Any government. You know, it, it, it don't make sense to make shit that makes people sick unless you've got an agenda for it. Now, they had an agenda. And the uh, number one thing, it was to get Trump out of office. Trump was going to send about everybody in Washington, D.C., a lot of Republicans with him, all the Democrats, to a military trial for treason. So we had to come up with something. Now, y'all remember back, what was it, February or March, this little Nazi Fauci? And that's exactly what he looks like. He looks like Hitler without a mustache. But he was on there giving us this bullshit, oh, this ain't going to be this bad, this ain't going to be this bad, but don't wear a mask, don't do this. Nancy Plips on him holler, oh, go to Chinatown, enjoy the celebration, nothing to this. Now, they helped spread this bullshit not knowing whether it was contagious or not. At the time, nobody really knowed. But Donald Trump came up with an ideal from his other doctors. What's the, what'd you call it? Hydroxychloroquine. Was a big relief for this virus. Actually, pretty well of a cure. Thousands upon thousands of doctors backed him across the United States. But my God, that... World Health Organization and Fauci and all these people in the United States, they went dead after Trump's ass when he mentioned that. Y'all remember that? What good was this virus going to do if we didn't let it kill a few? You know, the governor of New York and the governor of Michigan, a couple more, sent people to nursing homes with this virus. No one affected those people knowing it was going to kill them. So now I think they all should be tried for murder. It's coming out. You know, when they questioned Fauci the other day, he couldn't, he couldn't answer the questions. Oh, they come up with a new word, something. I don't even remember what the hell it was now about money they give to that lab. It's not in some bullshit. I don't even remember what the phrase was. Just another big word to throw the people off. So now Biden and them's got an agenda. They got to turn the blacks against the whites. And damn if ain't doing a good job at it. And I'm not talking about the good black people in this country, the ones that got jobs working every day. All oh, they want's a better life for themselves, for their family, education for their family, just like I do. I'm talking about the blacks in these welfare hoods, along with this a feeder bunch funded by the Democrats. Yeah, they pay these people to go help these black people right, to get them started, to get them fired up, just like you did up in Washington, D.C. on January the 6th. They paid people to get these people in the mood to, to go into the, to the con Congress, halls of Congress. But nobody wants to listen to it. 
Oh, Nancy Plips, oh, well, oh my God, these, these people are the most, the worst thing that's ever happened to the United States. I damn when he broke into the trial there on the, the Supreme Court judge, that wasn't too bad, was it, oh, Plips, oh? That was for a Democrat objective, oh. Not a damn word was said about that. Wasn't a one of them stopped. But how dang it you mentioned Trump. Now, that's just a whole different story. You know, I'm sick of what's going on in this country. I'm sick with this racism bullshit. You know, these ball players out there acting, acting exactly like they like these people down in the hood. Oh, my God, they're killing blacks. They're killing blacks. Well, why don't these fucking people live down in the hood? Where's their mansions at, folks? I'll tell you exactly where they're at. They're in the big white neighborhoods because they don't want to live with black people. That's exactly where they're at. Where did Obama build that big house or buy that big house at? Martha's Vineyards. I'll bet you he ain't got a black neighbor within three damn mile of him. Joe Biden. The man personally said he didn't want your black ass kids in school with his white kids. But you all forget about bullshit like that. You forget about who kept you on the back of the bus. You've been taught that the KKK is conservative people. You're full of bullshit. That's a Democrat organization. Started by the Democrats. Abortion clinics were started in black neighborhoods to control the black population by Democrats. And now they're trying to use you. And that's all they're doing is using to get a race war started in this country. Then they're going to call in the U.N., and it's over with. They're going to say, well, we have to live under their rules now because we can't live under our Constitution. Now, that's what these dirty, conniving Democrats are doing in Washington, D.C. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Plepso. And folks, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, this is going to affect you. Just because you're a Democrat don't mean that you ain't going to do what the hell they say. You're going to be in the same damn place I am. And neither one of us is going to like it. You know, I know half the Republicans up there are as dirty, if not dirtier than the Democrats. George Bush, his family, George Bush Sr., never realized what these people was after. One world government. Yeah, they was beyond our freedom in the United States, they wanted to control our freedom. And they proved that. You know, this Cheney woman, she did the same thing. She thought for sure, she thought for sure that the Democrats was going to win this hands down. So what'd she do? She switched. She was a Democrat. She's not no damn old timey Republican. She's a old timey piece of shit that's out to get what she can off politics. You know, it's next election coming up. We got a Republican running here in West Virginia. What has she did for West Virginia? Tell me what she's did. Not a damn thing. Oh, you'll get people to come out there and all her oh, she's the best thing since Cracker Jacks. That's Arch Moore's daughter, folks. God, have mercy, she's got to be our leader. Now she's got her son, I think, I guess, is going to take over the throne of Senator from West Virginia. Oh, yeah. We got to keep it in royalty. Can't be no average people in that damn Senate up there. They might try to make some laws or change the laws to give the working people something, just like Mr. Trump did. Think about what's going on. You black people think what they're doing to you, what they're using you for, then they're going to kick the holy shit out of you, just like they have throughout time. Democrats owned you back in the slave days. Democrats kept you right where you're at today. They don't want you educated. They don't want nothing for you except your vote when they need it. You know, they don't give a shit what you, who kills who in a black community. Do you think they give a shit? The only time they care a shit about black people is during election time. Oh, my God, we love you. Don't send your fucking kids to a white school, but we love you. You ain't black if you don't vote for me. Ain't that a hell of a saying? A man that was best friends with one of the grand wizards of the KKK, Robert Byrd, right from West Virginia here. 
That was Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden's mentor, boy. So y'all think about who you're following and what you're, what you're leading into. You know, they took this George Floyd character, a fucking thug, and they made uh, some kind of martyr out of him. Martyr, however you say it. You know, they used this man. He probably ain't even dead. Probably somewhere on a damn beach with these millions and millions of dollars. But like I said, they're just using it as an agenda to destroy what's left of our country today. So wake up. Come together. You preachers get off your sorry asses and start telling people what's wrong with this country. Why God has turned his back on this country. We've turned our back on Israel now. We've turned our back on abortions. We've turned our back on gay marriages. Taking prayer out of school. Now we're going to let people just rape the shit out of your children. And you'll be okay with that. Especially these preachers. Well, now the government said they could rape them. Let's don't say nothing because they'll tax us now. Just like abortions don't. Oh, don't say nothing. I'd be ashamed if I was you preachers. I'd be ashamed of myself. But you're not because you're in it for the money. Not the word of God. God bless you. Talk to you later. Watch the video because it won't last long.